Hey, what's up guys? Ref5 and doing another haul video for the haul of January. And this is a really big haul. As you can tell, I bought a lot of figures this month. Some I bought last month. Just didn't, it just took a while to get here. Mainly from Japan. I'll just get quick because I had my, fir my first attempt. Ran on my second attempt. Uh, Barry died. But yeah, let's get here. Uh, I got a Marvel Legend Beast. Always wanted Beast because he's one of my favorite Marvel heroes. Uh, I got it for like five bucks. He came with the Colt. He's from the X Men box set. Fortunately, he did not give him the glasses. I got Bishop. Uh, pretty cool figure. Always want to get. I try to make, make an X Men group. For, the only thing I don't like about Bishop, he's hard to stand sometimes. I got to pose him in a certain way because he came with these weird. You know, his feet are those Deadpool type of feet. You know what I mean? Uh, just got a Sinestro core. Uh, not Sinestro core. Uh, well, Sinestro traded with my brother for a Magneto. Uh, class, X Men classic Magneto. Pretty cool figure. Always wanted. Uh, now I got one for against my Hal Jordan. I uh, got a Ranger Key. Albright Black. Before Albright Killer, he was my favorite. And Gal Silver, aka um, uh, Gal Ranger. I'm a big fan of six type Rangers. Uh, I got a Spider Man for like for three bucks on eBay. Really, well, not the Spider one, but I, I always wanted like a regular Spidey. But that's, so that's cool. Shocker Toy Shadowhawk. Then the variant. They're awesome. They're all right figures. Just disappointed of this guy because his shoulder caps keep falling out. They should have just, just glued this somehow or made it like a tab or something. But cool figures nonetheless. Really cheap too. Like I got them for like three bucks each and the shipping was really cheap. Uh, Marvel Legend She-Hulk. I always wanted Marvel Legend She-Hulk. She's one of my favorite Marvel females. And because you know, I have a, she's one of my Marvel, Marvel hero, females crushes. <laughs> Uh, the Quadrant Red Ranger. Uh, I really wanted to get the uh, Dino Thunder White Ranger, but I was me and Ben, and he went too high, so I bid for this guy. The shipping was free. So, uh, cool figure. Uh, Armada Blur. He came complete. He's the only character I like from Armada. Came with the Minicon. Really cheap. Um, no, not sure I'll pick up any more Armada figure because I'm not big. I like Armada, but I'm not made of Transformers. Got Mario Universe Cable. My brother found this at the bookstore for pretty much the same price you would buy in a regular store. So I'm glad I got this. This is not. This is the one that doesn't come with Baby Hope. But I don't really care because I always wanted uh, Cable. The MU. They're pretty tall MU too. I was surprised. Uh, Mario Legends um, Astaging War Ring. I always wanted a War Ring. Pretty cool, got him really cheap. Good, uh, not too loose, as he has really tight joint. His calls came all right, so for this one, but overall, this one came good. Oh, not a lot of W figures this month. I got um, Randy Orton um, from the. Um, um, he's uh, he's. I got I bought him online. I pretty much got him for the same price if I had bought it in stores. But in stores right now, they're like, I don't know, for 18 bucks. I'm like, really? That's way too much for these guys. And he's the peg warmer, so yeah. Pretty cool figure, though. I always want to get Randy Orton. I uh, got this uh, DRS Bialzamon. I uh, always want to get one of the Digimon figures, and this guy's freaking awesome. Just like figure arts, great articulation, great detail, great accessory. This guy's a badass. Uh, got a uh, Ultra Act. Ultraman Sky Tiga form. I'm a big fan of Tiga. Just like Figure Arts and uh, The Arts, same articulation. He's even a good size with some Marvel Legends, but you know, he's like a giant ass character. He also came with his free little plane, which is awesome, the Snow White. Still watching the series, haven't completed it yet, but overall, I like the series. SIC Kitama Kuwamata Machine Jack Form Blade. Awesome figure. So detailed as shit. <laughs> detailed as shit, sorry. <laughs> sorry for my language, but great figure. Great with M next to MU's. He's good articulation. Relative Dante. I got this guy for like 25 bucks on the far. I really wanted to get this guy, but he was so much on eBay. I finally found a seller who was selling for a really good price. Great pickup. Great figure. A little, he's one of the smallest Rebel Techs, I guess because they were the early years. Cause he's not as big as like the Fist and Our Star ones, and then last but not least, Amazing Earth Nanako figures. You now know she was one of she was one of my first few, one of the first few anime series I watched while growing up. Uh, I bought the whole DVD series for like thirty bucks, I think, because there was only three discs. That was back then when you know DVDs were so pricey. But yeah, I got this one, this one, the regular one, and the variant, the limited edition one. 
really wanted these two. I was surprised to see these for like nine bucks each free shipping. Great price because I saw this one just for her, like for forty bucks. And I got I found this. And my most prized best my most favorite figure of this whole month, this one. I really wanted a good figure over me. When I saw this on eBay, I was so surprised. For real. I was like, no way I'm Bitfred. It was a really good price. I've never seen it before. Bitfred won it. I was so happy. Apparently, this was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I don't know how many years back. Or they just slapped the sticker. I don't really care. I got a real good price. Because I finally found out more about this figure. This figure goes for like almost 100 bucks or even more. Because I've seen a website is for like 100 and or even more than that. Really glad I have this figure. So happy. Well, that's my haul for the month of January. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's Rap 5, signing out.